Thanks for joining. I'm Josh, AKA Bagel Finagle, and today we're gonna to teach you how to grow Rambo Radish. So for the grow, we use a three tray system, two that are solid, and right here in the middle, we have one that has these drain holes. We'll get to the reason for that in a bit. We also like to use this weight. It helps germination, and I'll tell you more about that process in just a second. So the next step you need to do is take your tray with drain holes, place it into one that is solid, just like that. Now, after you do that, you wanna go ahead and put your medium in. I use soil. Okay, so we got about six to eight cups in this tray. And remember, like I just showed you, we have the solid tray on the bottom and then that tray with the holes right here on top. So now the next step is to go ahead and get all the soil loose. Okay, you see some of it's clumpy. It's depending on what media you're using, if it's cocoa chlor. Uh, you could even use a mesh system. We'll get into that in a different video. For now, let's just stay focused on soil grows, all right? Soil is the media that we're using today. So I wanna go ahead and take the edge right here, my spade, and run it into the soil. What I'm trying to accomplish as I wanna break all of these clumps up, okay? That's gonna help with watering, that's gonna help with even germination, and it's gonna help develop strong root systems. So we'll go ahead and jump into this, crushing this up. Eric, look, it doesn't have to be perfect, but the more attention that you pay to detail in the beginning processes, the better grows you're gonna have. And the more consistent you are with your technique, the better grows you're gonna always have. So I'm crushing it through. Everything's looking good. Okay, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and even the tray out. So I got most of those clumps out. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect, but now we're gonna go ahead and take the flat or the round of our spade and I'm gonna run it along the edges, along the sides, in the middle here, and we're gonna try to even this out as best we can. Okay, you want a nice, even plane to plant your seeds on. That's gonna help overall the growth. Uh, as far as specifics, it's really gonna help water distribution. All right, everything's looking good here. I'm gonna catch this one corner right there, guys. And as you become more proficient with your technique, how long that just took me, maybe 40 seconds, you're gonna get it down quicker, much, much quicker. Beautiful. Okay, so now we've prepped our tray out. We evened all this uh, media out. The next step is to go ahead and give it a good mist. Now we're gonna give it a mist because as we put our seeds on, you want, I don't wanna say a hard surface, but that surface tension uh, when it's wet is definitely increased versus when the soil is dry, right? If I run my hands through it now, I'm gonna leave some marks. As we spread that seed around, you're gonna have to put your hands in every once in a while and maybe maneuver some seeds that you know you accidentally spilled a little too much in the corner. So you want uh, a good mist over this tray in order to be able to do that efficiently. So here we go, I'm gonna begin. Look, there's no magic way to water a tray, especially when you're just prepping it out. The main thing is you wanna go across the tray, make sure you get that whole soil bed pretty damp. Doesn't have to be soaking, but we're focusing here on getting the whole entire tray wet. All right, everything's looking good with that. We'll go ahead and wrap that up. Okay, so we prepped our tray. We got our Rambo radish seed. We're gonna weigh it out. I'm gonna take a second. This is Green or Harvest Rambo radish seed. Best seed on the market for sure. It has a 99% germination rate. That's ungodly. Um, so in some videos dealing with Rambo radish, you'll see me soak the seed. Keep in mind, when you're growing at a commercial scale, time is of the essence. So we have a quicker germination with Rambo radish soaking it 
Uh, but most time, if you're just growing, just starting up, you don't have to worry about that. Weigh out 55 grams of seed. That's what we're gonna do now. And we're gonna sow direct onto the tray. So here we go. All right, 30, 40, 50, 55. All right, so now let me move this, move that. We'll go ahead and turn the tray. And I'm going to just lightly tap the cup at an angle, and that's gonna disperse the seeds slowly. All right, just like that, guys. And like I said, if you're in a commercial setting and you wanna achieve faster germination by about 12 hours, then of course, soak these. We soak these for six hours. All right. Moving our way down the tray. Make sure you catch these sides and these edges really good. Uh, you definitely wanna try to get it as evenly spread as possible. And that's gonna help the seeds uh, take root quicker and a little bit easier. That way they're not fighting each other as they're trying to sprout and develop. All right, I'm down to the last few. We're gonna run that edge right there. Perfect. If you see any, if you notice any piles, just spread them to the side. Now the next step, we're gonna take our mister. This is from Amazon, guys. Absolutely love it. If you have that free PDF, Five Steps to Launch Your Microgreens Business, off of the Greener Harvest Seeds website, uh, it's got equipment links in there. So definitely take a look at that. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and miss this whole tray. I'm, make, I'm gonna make sure it has a good amount of water. You definitely don't wanna you know, sit in one spot and let it pull up, but spread it around, mist evenly. All right, everything's looking good. I'm gonna make one more pass. Perfect. Now our next step is to take another tray of that three tray method. This is the last tray and we're gonna set it directly on top of these seeds just like this. And a final step to place these seeds into germination is by placing a weight directly on top of those seeds. Just like that, guys. So now for throughout this rest of this video, we'll come in here twice a day until germination is achieved. And then once a day after that, and you'll see the growth process. Okay, it's been 24 hours for our Rambo Radish. Now, in some of the videos earlier, you'll hear me say 12 hours. We're just gonna keep it simple. We're gonna check back every 24 hours so you can see what that process looks like. It'll also cut down on video time. Okay, so we're gonna remove that weight. And now we're gonna go ahead and pick up this top tray. So in some of the other videos you might have uh, seen uh, seeds sticking to the bottom here and this is exactly how we take care of that. I kind of tilt it up just like this Give it a couple flicks and that takes care of all the seeds that are going to stick to the bottom Now we're in that when they're in that short of a process They're barely growing the shoot systems are barely there. So it's not real uh, Detrimental to the seeds for them to lift off and then fall back in place Now what we're gonna do we're just gonna inspect everything. Everything is looking good uh, still, this is, you know, very early stage here. Everything's starting to germinate. We can see some root systems here. Everything's looking good. We're going to go ahead and take our mister, and we're going to go ahead and water the tray. All right. Okay, guys, so I'm going to show you uh, every day what the process looks like. This is very beginner friendly. All right, now as we start getting into the later stages, uh, we're gonna have to pay attention to how much we water, what the crop's gonna look like, and we'll talk about that later in the video. But for now, that's it for today. Everything's looking good. Let's keep this simple, people. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and put the tray back. And we're gonna go ahead and put the germination block back on top. Okay, so it's radish. We missed our 24 hour mark just a little bit. It's been 36 hours. We're gonna go ahead and remove this top weight. 
I'm gonna go ahead and look at our greens. Look how they've bounced up. Everything's looking really good. I love the ways this is looking. Um, we're gonna go ahead and top water. We're gonna get this a good top water now. And I'm actually, I was thinking about putting this in the blackout. I'm gonna leave this weighted about six more hours. So when we come back this evening, we'll go ahead and do another follow-up video. We'll transition this to blackout. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because along this center right here, I can see there's some seeds that haven't quite taken root fully yet. So I see this issue, and this is kind of troubleshooting here now. All right, we see the issue, and before it becomes a bigger problem, we want to resolve it now. If you have some seeds that aren't you know, fully attached to that soil, you definitely want to... Um, pay attention to that. So we're gonna go ahead, we'll put this back on and we'll put this weight back in there and we're gonna leave this in germination for about six more hours.